Hey, how are you? So this video might be a little bit different. Um, I'm actually doing a voiceover because when I recorded the video, some of the audio was just kind of weird and I just didn't talk much in the video. Um, so I figure I'll just walk you through what I'm doing. So this video is actually a challenge um, for June and the goal is to take a junk mail envelope and turn it into a folder and put a notebook or a journal type thing inside of it and the requirement was it had to have a closure so this is just a big junk mail envelope that i got in the mail it was in my stash um, i'm not saying that i keep like everything that comes through the door but i do keep a lot of the envelopes and the cards and the things like that that we get um, and then i just stick it in the stash so the only thing i did to start out with you could see in the beginning that the um, flap was a little ripped. We're going to fix that, so don't even worry about it. And this one has two really nice, po um, two really nice um, windows in it, which I really, really like. And I'm going to take the red off because as you see my paper up there, it's not going to match it. So I'm just taking the red film off and giving myself two, pocket, um, two windows. And we're going to do something really cool with that. So the paper that you see, that's actually what I'm going to cover my envelope with. Um, and I'm going to use some ink and stuff to kind of tie it all in together. And when you see how this is going to come together, you're, I think you're really going to like it. This one I'm super excited about because it just looks so cool once we get it all done. So just give it a try. I mean, you can see if the... Um, plastic will come off usually it's kind of just glued in and it usually doesn't come up or it doesn't um, take too much to come out so I just went ahead and flipped it over and I'm gonna start by grabbing a piece of um, this transparency film now you can get this at your local um, office supply store or you know your local department store whatever I actually got it at a yard sale um, and it's kind of thick I wouldn't say it's as thick as um, cardstock but it's it's kind of thick but it's not too bad now if you don't have this you could use um, like a plastic bag some packaging anything that's clear that you could kind of stretch over your window you can totally use just remember when you're um, gluing it down, it doesn't take much to grip, but you have to make sure that your glue, if you get any on the thing, it's going to dry clear. And when you put your glue on and then you smoosh it out, like when you're, you know, making sure everything is secure, you want to make sure that you smoosh it away from the window. That way it's not getting onto the window. Now, one thing I'll say about this is, um, you know, you can flip it over because I did get a little bit of glue on the window. You'll see it here in a minute. Um, but you can flip it over and wipe that off. Now, a while back, when I tried to do some specimen cards on my channel, you'll notice that when I sandwiched it together, the glue, which was the same thing, the art glitter glue, um, it didn't dry clear because it got, like, you know, in between there and it kind of couldn't the air couldn't hit it I guess maybe I don't know but it didn't dry clear now on here it does um, so you just want to be aware and smush your glue away from the window but yeah that's other than that that's all I'll say about that so now you have two windows and um, you could change out the other window if you wanted it to look the same it doesn't bother me one is just a little bit more cloudy than the other one but in the end, it all is going to end up looking looking really good. So yeah, you can see I got a little bit on there, but it'll be okay. Once we get the paper backing behind it, you're not really even going to see it. So now I'm going to work on the flap. And you can see that it's all like ripped and everything and that's okay because I'm just going to take two pieces of this pink paper and I'm going to cover the flap to make a new flap um, and the paper was just like copy weight paper which is what my envelope and what my paper was that I'm going to cover it with I didn't feel the need to make it super heavy because you know the rest of the envelope is not going to be real heavy um, 
but using that paper along with the flap of course it's going to make it a little you know a little thicker than just having the paper so i feel like having two layers of this plus my flap made it a nice um a nice thickness um so i made my flap about two inches the other flap i think was probably only maybe like an inch maybe three quarters of an inch i wanted to make it extra big especially because you know we had to add that closure onto it which you'll see um actually in my next video so this is actually going to be i think it's probably going to end up being three parts i don't think we'll make it into four but three or four whatever um so this video is going to be all about you know the bones of the envelope and covering the basic envelope itself now the next video um i'm gonna you know show you how i decorate it and then the third video will do the um the notebook that goes inside of it so i think we should just be good with um one video for the notebook because i'm not gonna go super super all out the requirements you know where you could keep it as simple or as um detailed as possible and i kind of want to go somewhere in between i don't want to make it really detailed that way you know whoever gets it can um add their own flair to it but i don't want to make it so simple that it's literally just a couple pieces of paper you know hooked together um and that was one of the other requirements also you had to either um stitch your journal or your notebook together or you had to glue it in and I think the the prospect of gluing it would be really cool, but I've never had much luck doing that. Um, even when I made like the pads where you tear it off for like notes and things, and I tried to glue the ends together, I watched some videos and followed tutorials and things, and it just doesn't work for me. So I think we'll probably go ahead and just do our normal stitching. Um, but yeah, that'll be in the third video. We're gonna do that. So here I'm just gluing the flaps together and as you'll see you won't even be able to tell that the envelope flap is ripped um and for this the the glue stick works you know perfect the only thing i will say is when you put your first page down or your first strip of paper down and then you flip it over you want to make sure that you go all the way out to your edges um that way when it sandwiches together nothing lifts up and um, something else I'll say is see how I'm folding it here you want to make for sure that you a don't go over your fold line and it's sticking up weird um, in the front or the back and B you don't want to go too far away from your fold line and it looks really weird like you just you know got it cockeyed or anything like that so just kind of bend it and fold it while your glue is still wet that way you make for sure you know you got it in the right spot and then if you need to while your glue is still you know wet you can kind of reposition it um now when i did it you'll see i kind of got it a little wonky i don't know if my strips of paper wasn't quite right or i didn't line it up quite right um but like the sides and the top are a little off so what i'm going to do is a simple fix i'm just going to trim the trim the edge I probably took you'll see here in a minute I probably did like maybe an eighth of an inch not a full quarter that's for sure um, I took that off and then I just did a little bit on each side to kind of match it up with the envelope um, and then I'll use my corner rounder and I'll round my corners so you'll see that here in a second So I just cut a little bit off and then you'll see, I'll come back in with the scissors and, and just trim it. I 
I kind of wasn't really sure when I started this project what it was going to turn into. I just knew I wanted to do it because I'm like super excited to get back in the craft room and back in the swing of doing challenges and series and you know different things like that. Um, but this project I think is really turning into something really special. I think it looks so pretty and once we get it all done even in this video you'll be able to tell and I just think it looks so good with the paper. Now the paper that I'm using actually is just a free printable that I found off of Pinterest um, and it's just like a, like a marbled paper and I just love it. So I took that and I kind of you know played with the colors and pulled things out when I was looking for the decorations and for the ink and for you know all the things to go with it um, that way it enhanced the colors of the paper without overshadow overshadowing it and I just I love how this turns out I'm so excited to finish this and I can't wait to hear what you guys um, think about this project so here I'm just rounding the corners and while you're watching me do that um, if you guys are liking this video um, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet um, I would appreciate it if you did and if you have crafty friends that you think you know hey you might like this you know channel on YouTube if you would you know drop my name send them the video whatever um, you know I would greatly appreciate it because I started off really strong making videos and then when I went back to work for the year um, I work at a school so you know my summers are off um, I didn't have as much time to make videos and to craft and things plus I'm going back to school so I kind of got out of the habit because I just really didn't have time um, but I'm like really excited to come back and start crafting and making videos again because I really do enjoy it and it's just crafting is like my happy place and I'm sure you can all get where I'm coming from and you know feel the same way but so to put everything back together for the envelope I'm just folding in the sides and probably I'd say probably between a quarter and a half of an inch I'm gonna fold it and the only reason why I'm doing this is basically to give a little extra room to a little extra give in the pocket um, or in the envelope that way when we stick our journal in or a notebook whatever um, it'll have room now I'm not gonna make it super big it's just supposed to be like a small little journal or notebook or whatever you want to call it um, but I want to make for sure that you know there is room in case we in case we put any decorations or anything on the top um, that it you know there's enough room to to slide in and out plus we're going to do something fun with the um the envelope or the windows in this envelope you'll see in a second here so i'm getting ready to re-glue this um when i glued it the first time it it wasn't lined up right and it was kind of folded a little wonky so I'm just cutting the, the edges off of the flap and then I'll re um, I'll recut them of course and then you know it'll be it'll be ready to fold and then we can start with the decorating. Okay, so now we're gonna um, Oh yeah, so that's why I took it apart. Um, I I did, I glued it and then I thought better of it and I pulled it back apart because before we glue it, we're actually gonna put the pockets in front of our windows. So instead of just putting, you know, pretty paper in front of the windows so you can see it, um, I actually gonna do two separate pockets um, in front of the window so you can slide journal cards and things in and out and you can actually see you know what's in your pocket so I'm gonna separate them you know the the circle window is gonna be one pocket it's gonna be kinda taller and a little skinnier and then the big window is gonna be like a longer 
you know, narrower, or a, like a longer, bigger pocket. Um, and then inside that, behind that, then you're going to have your, um, your notebook or your journal, whatever you want to call it. It's going to slide in there. So I have this really pretty paper that, again, it has the same kind of colorings as that marbled paper. And again, this is just a free printable. It has some text on it. It has some music notes on it. It has a butterfly, some leaves, all the, you know, flowers, all the things. Um, and I think it really complements this, this paper well because, again, it has all the different, the different colors in it. And it pulls some of those more muted colors out. Um, so I'm just going to, um, you know, get it sized and ready to go for my, for my paper. Now I cut two separate pockets, um, for this project. If you had something that was long enough across, um, you could do one pocket and then separate it down the center. But as you can see, mine was a little short. And because it's directional, I wanted it to go, you know, the right way. Um, so I just did two separate ones. Now you don't have to make it all the way down to the bottom of your um, envelope. But, I mean, you can. But you just want to make it, you know, however big you want your pocket to be. That's how big you're going to make the paper for your pocket. And, um... Like on the round one, you'll see in a second, I actually wanted that butterfly right in the center of the round one. So I kind of just tore the paper out and around until I got to the right spot. And you can see I keep flipping it back and forth to see, hey, I want it on this spot, or no, I want it a little bit more over here. It's centered. Um, and then that's how I fold it around to get the spot that I want. So it's really cool if you have like a certain paper that you want to use that has like a really pretty image on it. This is good because then, you know, your pocket can hold stuff, but then when you take it out, then you can really showcase the paper behind it. So that's just what I'm doing here. And then I'll just glue it, you know, into the thing. And remember, we're going to make a pocket, so we're only going to glue it on three sides. And um, one thing I didn't do, but you can, is you could put like a thumb notch in if you really wanted to. It might make it a little bit easier to get in and out. One thing um, I did notice in the video that I did um, where I showcased the decorating part of it, it was a little hard to get in and out. So I feel like maybe if you did put a thumb notch in, it would make it a little bit easier but totally optional if you you know don't want to you totally don't have to you just want to make sure that it stays down away from the the flap enough that it leaves room for you sliding your um your things in and out of the pocket and sliding your notebook in and out of the envelope itself so Again, once I get it to the spot that I want, when I get ready to glue it, then I'm going to flip it back over after I put the glue on and make for sure that it's in the right spot that I want. And again, you're only doing um, three sides. So I actually almost messed up and glued it upside down, but I caught it in time. Um, and of course, I'm going to have to switch glues because my glue is empty. I have to go fill it, actually. I never think about doing this stuff until I sit down to do a video and then it's like, oh no, my glue's out or I can't find my ink or something. And yeah. So, but I've discovered that, you know, I really do like the tacky glue. It takes like a couple extra seconds to grip, but other than that, it's not, it's not too bad. And it holds stuff really, really well. So that's always a good thing. So here in a second, you'll see I'm going to flip it over and make sure that it's in the right, the right spot. And you want to do that, 
you kind of want to place it so it's sort of tacked down but then you want to make sure that you flip it over that way you um get it in the right spot before you completely press it down because even with tacky glue you have a couple seconds but then once it gets to a certain point it is kind of hard to to pull it back up so now i'm gonna cover the the pocket for the little window the porthole and I really really like that butterfly so I'm just gonna kind of tear around to get to the right spot and again you don't have to make it you know totally the the same size as your hole if you had a really big circle um, cutter you could do that and you could make like a circle pocket um, but this is just as easy I just keep kind of figuring it out and tearing with the ruler and again because it's inside you're not gonna see it a hundred percent so it doesn't have to be like super precise I mean you're you know if you open the the thing up and look you'll see that you know there's paper in there but it it's not gonna be showcased where you have to make it like super precise and super pretty um, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna glue this pocket down and again you know we're making a pocket so we're only going to do three sides and again you'll see me flip the thing over and make sure that it's in the right spot so there's the the window pockets and I think they turn out super cute I really really love them and it adds another another feature to the envelope it's not just like a plain envelope with a pretty window it's it's you know useful so now I'm just gonna go ahead and refold the edges and I'm going to add some glue and glue it up and then we'll be ready to decorate all right so now that I have it all glued up and everything um, I'm gonna go ahead and ink around the windows um, because to me it's very difficult to get the shape of the window just right so you don't see any of the envelope underneath and I'm not all about trying to mess with it that much so what I did and I really liked it on this one um, is I actually inked around both of the windows and you know all around the edges like we normally would but instead of making it super close to the to the window with the paper I actually went way far out around with the ink to create kind of like a border and then I'm only putting the paper along the top and the bottom just almost to accent it and then of course on the back we'll do the full thing but I'm actually going to mix two of the the ink colors together on the paper to kind of match what's on um, on our paper so I have I'm gonna use um, kind of like the orangey brown color on this one and then I'm going to use the second lightest color on the green and I'm gonna go over it with the brown first and then I'll come back over it with the green kind of just to to blend it and make it look um, a little bit different and don't worry if you get some on your window for now you can just take a wet wipe and wipe it off and it comes off super easy um, so you know don't don't worry about kind of covering it or putting tape or anything on it like that so as you can see I start off kind of real small and mellow and then I'll go back and add some more ink to make it just a little bit bigger and go a little bit further out um, so more of the envelope is is um, covered in ink so see I'll just take my green and I'll kind of you know brush in over top of it and I think it makes it look really really pretty and once we get the paper on you'll see that the two colors um, bring out some of the color in the paper which I really really like so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll come back when all the inking is done and we get ready to put the paper on all right so as you can see I didn't do the flap yet but that's gonna come um, but I inked up you know all around the edges and more around the the windows and now I'm just gonna kind of fit the paper to the spots that I left white and then at the bottom of this circle here you'll see that I kind of 
um, go back through and add a little bit more ink but I'm just gonna fold the paper and then tear it I like the torn edges um, and once I get it all torn out and glued down then I'll come back and show you what it looks like all right so here's the front all done and I think it turned out really cute now I'm just gonna take um, another piece of the same paper and completely cover the back where the white is again I'm gonna leave a lot of the ink showing because um, I just think the the ink with the paper looks really really good together and I'm actually going to also um, ink around the flap of the the envelope and I am gonna put some um, paper the same paper on the front and the back of the envelope the, or the the front and the back of the flap the same as I did for the envelope itself so I'm going to go ahead and um, do the paper and again I'm just going to fold it over kind of you know measure it on the fly and then tear the paper and then just you know glue it down so let me do that and I'm you know I'll show you what it looks like all right, so now we have the back covered, and again, I think it looks super nice. Um, I missed a little spot there. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. But when I come back for the second video, um, I'm going to have the flap completely inked and covered in paper, just like I did, um, you know, the front and the back of this. So I hope you guys will join me, and I hope you like the video and what it's turned out to be so far and until next time bye